Hi, today we're going to take a look at a new uh, feature called Haptic Touch in iOS 13. Now it replaces the uh, 3D Touch. So what it is is that when you touch on an app, it will pop out like a um, 3D Touch, but instead of uh, using a pressure sensitive, it basically using a time delay. So you just need to uh, simply touch it, uh, an app like a camera. So after a um, a second or two, maybe just I think just a second, then a menu come out. From the menu, you can choose. Um, you have additional uh, options for you to to use. So with uh, 3D Touch in the past, you have to press it really hard. And I don't really like the idea of pressing really hard. Some people might not, you know, have the 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 strength to press on the on uh, on the screen. So with a time delay, I can simply just touch it lightly and wait for a second, and then this will pop up. So that will work also with older phone. Now you can see on the iPhone SE, they don't have any. Um, 3D touch, but with a uh, haptic touch, I still can use that features. So you can see here, I'll try to, uh, uh, let's say mail. So I'll tap and hold the mail. So after a second, I will, you will get an additional features, a pop-up that will give you an additional uh, function that you can uh, do. So you can either send a new message, search or add account. So the same over here on the iPhone 11 Pro, you can see, I can uh, simply tap and wait for a second and then I got new additional functions come out. So now this feature comes to an older phone as well on the iPhone SE and uh, no longer I do I need to have uh, 3D touch uh, for this to use these functions. So that is the difference between uh, haptic touch and a 3D touch on your new iOS 13 features.